This disclaimer was copied without permission. Cheers, Crawford Scottless, Wicked Sippers, and all other good people out there. Hopswatch here. This is a video to warn the good people of New Hampshire, specifically in New Ipswich, against an approaching menace. And it's a call to engage in peaceful protest and to report any case of breach of COVID 19 regulations that is witnessed. Torben Sundergaard. <coughs> His cult The Last Reformation and his traveling trailer park circus continues its tour around the United States. Next up is New Ipswich, New Hampshire on August the 14th through 23rd. In this video I'll be looking at what happened at the last stop in Des Plaines, Illinois and what will probably happen in New Ipswich. So my concerns about Torben Sundergaard spreading COVID-19 on his traveling trailer park circus tour were shared by residents of Des Plaines as well as local authorities. Torben set up camp at the Methodist campground on East Algonquin Road in Des Plaines, where he, according to local media, gathered around 150 people. This motivated the mayor, Matthew Bogush, and sorry if I'm botching that, to update and revise the local emergency COVID-19 regulations, as you could read on Pat's website. And I'll just read the whole bit for you. Following an emergency meeting Tuesday night, Mayor Matthew Bogus signed a revised and updated emergency declaration that according to Alderman Andrew Gotchkowski, puts displays, face covering and social distancing requirements a step ahead of Governor J.B. Pritzker's executive order, which includes a broad exemption for the free exercise of religion. The new displays declaration is intended to treat all public gatherings equally, according to Gotchkowski, whether they are religious in nature or not. So what was changed was that the regulations were now to be enforced on all public gatherings, including religious ones, which had been exempt in Governor J.B. Pritzker's executive order. The revised executive order was handed to Torben Sondergaard personally by the police and he immediately exhibited it as an act of suppression of his religious freedoms. Everyone listen to this, this is so crazy. The police came today with a supplemental order from the mayor to stop us to worship God. Now, running his persecution narrative is way more important for him than taking care of his followers and the local communities where he sets up his circus. This Facebook post that he shared and later took down is a rabbit hole of its own. He claims that the city of Des Plaines wants to shut down the event when all the city authorities wanted to do was to enforce COVID-19 regulations. Torben allegedly appealed directly to Donald Trump for support. He also called COVID-19 a Trojan horse for implementing a socialist agenda. And he whines about how rioting and looting is allowed, while worshipping Jesus Christ is clamped down upon. I guess he hasn't seen many videos of uh, federal agents in action in Portland now, has he? Because that is not exactly what happened when the police stopped by at his event now, was it? I'll link to uh, my sharing of Torb's post on Twitter in the description. Now, all the way through his event in Des Plaines, there were doubts whether the event was actually legal. Tom got a permit to set up his tent and he flailed that around proudly. However, no one seems to know whether he actually had an event permit as such. Uh, a permit to gather that many people under that tent that he was allowed to put up. Torben was also advised that failing to comply with the regulations could result in citations and fines. Still, he decided to push on as if nothing had happened, and he continued his event as planned. And that is when he claimed to have a big law firm behind him in case fines would be issued and arrests made. 
tonight. We are worshiping tomorrow and we will continue this weekend with worshiping God. If we will get a fine, we will get a fine. If we will get arrested, we will get arrested. But then we have a big lawyer company behind us. We and thus he live streamed his services over the weekend, where you could observe the attendees sitting shoulder by shoulder in tight rows behind each other, practicing zero social distancing and wearing no masks whatsoever. Again, according to local media, two fines were issued. One to Torben and one to the owner of the campground, Jonathan Speckman, both for not abiding to COVID-19 regulations. Now, on Tuesday, the 4th of August, two days after Torben left, an uptick in new cases was registered. Now, 5.8% of COVID tests were positive, compared to 5.2% 10 days earlier, which was about the time when Torben's event started in this plains. This, of course, could have been caused by many other things than Torben's event. Fact remains, however, that Torben's behavior was grossly irresponsible, coming to displays that was effectively a COVID-19 hotspot, performing practices that are ideal for spreading the disease even more. Laying on hands when doing faith healing, screaming people in their faces when doing exorcisms, dunking different people several times in the same small tanks of water under the pretense of baptism, and lurching around in the community performing some of these practices on random citizens. These are super spreading practices. Now uh, on to what is going to take place in New Ipswich. So absolutely nothing is indicating that Torben will change his practices for New Ipswich. So I set out to tip off local media and warn local residents. Now my warnings weren't too well received in all residents groups, but eventually my call for due diligence were heard. Also local media are catching up. WMUR News 9 brought a piece on August the 4th and Ledger transcripts are also following the case. Links in the description of course. The latter, Ledger transcripts could report that the new Ipswich Select Board investigated the options for stopping the event from taking place. This has turned out not to be possible, or at least it's not something that they want to do, as the uh, town allegedly has no authority to enforce state regulations on COVID-19 for some reason. Quick post-production note. It turns out that the rules and regulations about COVID-19 in New Hampshire are only recommendations and not enforceable by law, according to local residents. So there is that. That turned out to be a reason why I weren't welcome too well. Apparently right-wingers, gunslingers and evangelicals stand strong in the new Ipswich community. In other words, there seems to be a very good reason why Torben picked that specific place for his event. So, in conclusion... I've managed at least to shed a little light and draw a bit of attention on what Torben is going to do in New Ipswich. My problem is, there is an ocean in the way and a pandemic raging, which prevents me from taking much more action than continuing my endeavor to raise awareness about the damage that Torben and his cult does. I would like to take this opportunity though, to encourage everyone who has the time and resources to go to New Ipswich, New Hampshire, during Torben's events to protest peacefully. While doing so, remember to practice social distancing and also, to wear masks. Also, report breaches of your state and community's COVID-19 guidelines to proper authorities along with local media. Local media did a great job in displays to help raise awareness about Torben's cult. If you want to help reducing the danger that he poses to your local community, Going through local media will ensure a larger portion of the population will know about him and will be able to act accordingly. And that will be all for this time. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, comment and share, follow me on social media and consider supporting me on Patreon. 
yes, I finally launched a Patreon account in order to be able to work more independently. With your support, I can do more of this and on a more regular basis. Always remember to drink responsibly and until next time, cheers. It's a good beer. Ah, oh, dang it. Actually, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's, nothing is coming through. This, these, these masks really seem to do the job. So you know what to do, wear them.